hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Emma and I make art videos and today I thought I would show you all what art supplies I'm taking on my six week holiday to America. So I actually leave in about a week's time and I'm pretty sure this is everything that I want to bring. Um, I don't think there'll be any last minute things. So this is pretty much it and because I am going for six weeks, I am going to be there for a while so I don't want to be bringing too much with me because you know, obviously there's weight limits on the planes and I also will be doing a lot of things in America so I'm probably not going to have a whole lot of time to be making art but I still want to bring it with me just in case, you know, I do get the time to do that and I want to. Um, so yeah, let's change the camera angle and get started. So I did buy a couple of things for this holiday and the first thing being this sketchbook and I wanted a mixed media sketchbook because I don't actually own one and I want the option to use dry media or wet media and this one is for wet and dry media so that's exactly what I wanted just because I don't want to have multiple sketchbooks with me I kind of just want to have the one and if I need to I can always buy another one when I'm over there um, but I do want to keep what I'm bringing quite limited so I got this one and the size is I think it's um, A5 I think this is half the size of an A4 piece of paper um, yeah it's 5.5 .5 inches by 8 inches so I think it's roughly that kind of size I like the fact that this has the ring binder just because if I am you know wanting to draw or paint on the plane or somewhere that's a little bit awkward you know I don't have to have the sketchbook out like this the whole time I can fold it back and use it that way um, and the paper seems pretty nice I haven't used it yet um, it's not really thick but it feels thick enough so yeah I'm really excited to uh, start using this one and it does have like a proper cover there. The second thing that I bought was this pencil case here and I've been wanting a hard pencil case for a while now. Um, I've kind of always used soft ones and I mean I don't mind them but I don't know I kind of just like the idea of having a hard pencil case. And I think this is going to be much better for travelling. I don't know if this happens with hard pencil cases or not because I haven't had one before. Um, but I find with the soft ones, um, they get really dirty inside because I think, you know, when it's um, pressed against, like the lead kind of rubs on everything. So I don't know if a hard case will kind of stop this from happening or what. I guess I'll find out. But I thought this would be really great for kind of packing and that kind of thing. And, you know, I can't you know squish it as much compared to a soft case but I kind of like that you know I kind of have a limited amount of space you know of supplies that I can bring with me which is kind of good like I don't want to be bringing way too much um, I'm kind of just bringing the essentials and that kind of thing so it just clips open and you pull that out and it actually can't fall off because of that bit there and then you've got all your supplies in there so I think it's a really great size and I've actually already started using it um, I've packed this for my holiday but I did get this like a week ago and I've been using it since then even like on my art desk so I really like it and of course I had to get it in pink they did have other colors I think there was a green one and a blue one and a black one so if there wasn't pink I would have gotten the black one but I saw the pink and I was like I have to get it <laughs> Um, and I did get the pencil case and the sketchbook from Eckersley's and they weren't too expensive which was good. The next thing that I've chosen to bring is my Peerless watercolour palette and I feel like this is quite necessary if I want to be adding colour which is something that I do want to do. Um, and I'm bringing this just because it is so portable, you know it folds shut so it's very thin and if you don't know what peerless watercolors are, basically they're little sheets of watercolor that have kind of like compacted watercolor on them so they're dry um, and then when you wet them you can use them. Um, so they're great for traveling and I actually made this watercolor palette. I did make a video tutorial for this uh, which I can link in this video and I'm sure you can find it on my channel. But basically I also have this kind of clear sheet of paper in the middle so that if I need to kind of dilute a colour, I can pick up the colour and then water it down on here and then use it. Um, 
So this is fantastic for traveling and it's kind of like something that I feel like I have to bring with me. So this is everything that I have in my pencil case, excluding the pencil sharpener. And I am bringing one that has the barrel section, just because I probably won't always have access to a bin and it's just going to be easier to use something like this on the go. And I probably won't be taking this in my hand luggage on the plane because it does have a blade in there and they will probably confiscate it. So I will put it in my main luggage, but I will make sure to sharpen all my pencils uh, before I get on the plane in case I want to do some art on my flight over there. Next I am bringing some lead pencils and I'm keeping them in an elastic band just so they're together in my pencil case. And I'm bringing, I believe I've got a 2H here. I've got um, two HBs because I use those the most and I want to have a spare one just in case. And I'm also bringing a 4B and a 6B. And I'm bringing all these ones just so I have a couple of different options. I'm also bringing some colored pencils and I'm only bringing a couple of colors here just because I do have quite a few um, but because I am a bit limited for space, I kind of just want to bring the ones that I feel like I'm going to use the most. So I've got black, I've got a dark brown, a lighter brown, white, dark red, light red, the grey colour, purple, blue, green and yellow. And I'm bringing most of these ones for skin colours because I do mainly draw people. And if I use my watercolours, I do like to add a lot of detail to the faces with coloured pencil after I use watercolour. So that's why I'm bringing most of those. And then I brought these ones here as well, just in case I need a couple of extra colours. Um, so this is quite a small selection, but I feel like this will be enough while I'm over there. And if I need to, I can always buy more pencils if I really feel like I need to. I'm also bringing my two water pens. And basically these ones have like a brush tip and you fill them with water and then when you press on them water comes out of here so these are great to use with my um, watercolors especially because I don't need to have like a jar of water the water is already in the pen so it's great for traveling um, and it's super easy to use so I'm bringing this size and this one here as well which is a slightly smaller tip. Then I'm bringing my Copic Multi Liner and this one is in the size 0.05 so it's very fine and that's in the color black so I'll use this one for very fine lines. I'm also bringing my Pentel brush pen for ink work. This works really well with my watercolors and because of the tip I can get quite thick lines or thin lines but my Copic Multi Liner is good for those really, really thin lines. I'm also bringing two refills for my Pentel brush pen, just in case I do use it a fair bit. Um, but because these are quite small, they're not taking much space. So if I don't end up using both of these, then that's totally fine. Um, but I do want to make sure that I have enough ink while I'm over there. And then I'm bringing my white paint pen, and this one is by Posca. And it's just a white paint pen. It'll be good for highlighting my drawings um, and that kind of thing. And lastly I am bringing my kneadable eraser. These erasers are just the best. I basically don't use white erasers anymore. Um, what's great with these is you can you know mold them to a certain shape if you need like a really a really thin eraser you can kind of do that. Um, and with these erasers you don't get the little like white bits, um, it kind of just picks up the lead and it stays on here. So yeah, that is everything that I am taking with me. I think it's a really good selection, you know, I've got my pencils, pens, watercolour, um, coloured pencils, so I have quite a few options. Obviously I don't have anything like acrylic paint or oil paint, you know, they're not really very portable um, and I'm probably not even going to have time to do anything like that. So yeah, I'll just be mainly doing sketches, ink drawings, watercolour paintings um, and that kind of thing. And I feel like these supplies will be enough for that. Um, and like I said, I always have the option to buy more when I'm in America 
I think it'll be fun to go to some art supply stores over there and see what they're like compared to Australia. Um, so yeah. Anyway, that is all from me today. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel either. That way you won't miss any of my videos. And yeah, so I will see you all in my next video. I will be selling this piece over on Society6. So it should be there when this video goes up. And I actually have two versions of it because this one here is actually all black and white.